What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988, coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and look what we have, Fallout 4, Pit Boy Edition, hell yeah. Now I'm one of the lucky few that was actually able to pre-order this during the pre-order window over there at Amazon. Francis, I think, got his from GameStop, and actually his got canceled, so I know he's been scrambling to find one. But Boogie, I thought you said you should never ever pre-order nothing, not ever. I still think that's true. You shouldn't pre-order most of the time. But when it comes to collector's editions, you're really paying for the plastic junk and not the game itself. If the game is good, then that's a bonus. Otherwise, you got plastic junk you can stare at, like this uh, collector's edition of the Order 1886 here behind me. At least I got a statue. But Boogie, collector's editions is just huge waste of money. Yep, yeah, they, yep, they sure are. Now the first cool thing about this sucker is the actual box it comes in. Because this is a plastic style box that looks like something you might find inside one of the vaults. And this is branded as Vault 111, so that's cool. Now as we open this sucker, right there is the game itself. Uh, right on top, still series case. That's nice. And we have, what do we have here? Oh, well, there's our season pass. There is the perks chart, which you can hang on your wall as a poster. There is the Fallout 4 disc itself. Here is a little manual for the pit boy that gives you instructions for install, uh, using some of the basic features, uh, some stuff from the game itself, as well as instructions for for loading in your phone because that's how this thing works. You basically slide in one of several different types of phones to make it happen. But there it is. Wow. There's the actual Pip Boy itself, which I mean, obviously, you could easily leave in this case if you wanted to. But wow. Okay. Even if you never put a phone into it and just left that screen up, that is awesome for display. I mean, that is a really cool piece, and it does look just like it does in Fallout 4 and previous games. It's made of cheap plastic, molded plastic inside. There's a, this is actually a metal latch, which is kind of nice. Uh, but inside, there's a, a cheap foam lining. So again, I, I don't think anyone would ever wear this for more than cosplay purposes and then even then, just a brief point of time. I don't see anybody actually playing this while playing the game. I think for most people, even with the companion app being out there, I think for most people it's going to be a display item. Now, just laying this thing on your collectible shelf is not going to look that great. So fortunately, they did include uh, this display stand for you to set it on. And it fits nicely and looks very, very nice as well. I love this, actually. Now, as for actually using the thing, I knew this going into it. My phone is too big, and I do not have a compatible phone or device that'll fit in here. It's looking for an iPhone 5, iPhone S, Galaxy S3, 4, or 5. None of the larger phones, and that's that's all we have in this house. So I won't be using the companion app inside the Pip Boy. But then again, you can just use the companion app on your phone or other device anyway. Pip Boy doesn't have to factor into it. Yeah, there's there's no way that's gonna there's no way that's gonna fit. I'm going to let Francis try it on, maybe, though. Overall, I'm really glad that I got lucky enough to get one of these. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me because it helps me be able to afford awesome things like this, and I love collecting this stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon. Go check out some more videos, and don't forget that gameplay channel. Maybe there's going to be some Fallout stuff on there. Link in the description box. Love you guys.